Good afternoon, I'm Kenneth Bullock, and you're watching MediaPlex Live at 1. A police officer was stabbed in the hand this weekend while arresting a man at Caesars Windsor. Sean Frame joins us live with the details. Sean? Thanks, Kenneth. On Saturday around 11.45 p.m., a police officer working contract duty at Caesars was called to assist with a suspect who police say was causing security problems. Police say the suspect was causing a scene outside of Arius nightclub. Security asked him to leave, but the suspect put up a fight. Windsor Police Spokesman Constable Andrew Drulard says the officer attempted to arrest the suspect and was stabbed in the hand. The suspect was then tased twice. Drulard says the first taser cartridge didn't work, so the officer switched cartridges with his injured hand and tased a second time. Drulard said at least 10 officers then assisted with the arrest. Our officer unfortunately sustained a very serious injury to his right hand, and he was transported to hospital and he received surgery in the morning, and he's recovering now. Michael A. Knapp has been charged with aggravated assault, assaulting a police officer, resisting arrest, uttering threats, two counts of possessing a dangerous weapon, and raising a false fire alarm. He remains in police custody. Back to you at the anchor desk, Kenneth. Thanks, Sean. And now for sports. Aaron Sanders reports on an international hockey tournament that created lasting friendships and great memories. The Spitfire season may be over, but the Rose City still had tons of hockey to watch. From April 3rd to the 10th, Windsor played host to the Carha Hockey World Cup. However, one valuable thing stood out. Not the goals, nor victory, but the experience. Fitchburg 55 goalie Joe Iozo said despite playing in a different country, players felt at home. When you come to Canada, you know that it's the most popular sport here. And it's a, it's a nice feeling to see how everybody, as a hockey player, it's great to you feel like you're home uh, and amongst uh, like-minded people. This tournament held more than 100 teams from around the world with ages ranging from 19 to more than 70 years old. However, memories aren't made only on the ice, but behind the scenes as well. For CARA Media Relations Coordinator Chad Scanlon, he says the city's response was beneficial. The people in Windsor have been very receptive to it. Everyone's excited for it to be here. It's cool to see everyone walking around the downtown core and, and everyone's kind of happy that they're here and happy to showcase the city. For Iozo, he'll remember the friendships made at the World Cup. There's a camaraderie uh, amongst hockey players and um, I think one of the sayings of Kara Hockey is friendship through hockey. So seven days of Karha Hockey action in the Rose City. Lots of slap shots and many goals were scored. But for all these players, one important goal throughout this tournament was the camaraderie and the experience they earned. Reporting from the WFCU Center, this be Aaron Sanders for MediaPlex News. A downtown landmark is being torn down. Kayla Wong joins us live outside with the details. Kayla? Thanks, Kenneth. Owners of the former Bland Dog Bar on Olet Avenue applied for a demolition permit last week. The city of Windsor reviewed and approved the demolition of the downtown landmark. Late last week, the building was sectioned off for the construction and today the tear down began. Part of the sidewalk has been blocked off as crews work on the building. Rob Vanny with the city's building department says although they approved the permit, they would have preferred something else to happen to the building. Preferred they didn't demolish the building and would have ref refurbished the building and, and repurposed the building. but. Uh, there's no provisions in the uh, in the bylaw now to uh, to restrict demolitions in that area for that particular use of building. At this time, it is not known what will replace the building. Back to you, Kenneth. Thanks, Kayla. A team from Bell River punched its ticket to the first Robotics World Championship in St. Louis, Missouri. 54 teams participated in the Southwest Regional Championships over the weekend in Windsor. The Nobles from w Bell River District High School joined an alliance with teams from Michigan and Stony Point, Ontario. Villanova Catholic High School in LaSalle also qualified for World Finals after winning the Rookie All-Star Award at the event. The finals would take place from April 27th to the 30th. Turning to weather, today will be a mix of sun and clouds at 14 degrees. Overnight it will cool down with the temperature dropping to minus 1. Tomorrow will be mainly sunny with a high of 7. And I thank you for tuning in. I'm Kenneth Bullock, and you've been watching MediaPlex Live at 1.